your future on these foundations. Freedom, justice, and equality. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Genesis Podcast. It's your host here, HDTV, a.k.a. DJ Briscoe. This podcast is brought to you by Anchor FM, also by Beat Fact Music, presented by Beat Fact Music. Also, this podcast will be available on YouTube. Go on YouTube and check the channel, New Chapter, that's N-U-C-H-A-P-T-O-R. So that's N-U-C-H-A-P-T-O-R. So... You know, I haven't did that in the past with the other podcasts, so make sure everybody gets that now. So, new chapter on YouTube. Um, also, this podcast will be eventually available on Audio Mac. Uh, that link will be available under the YouTube. So, that's what that's what it's about. Um, it's been a very interesting, uh, you know, last couple of days. Uh, you know, of course, everything culminating f- with. Uh, the whole Kawhi Leonard situation and him going from, you know, leaving the Raptors to go to the Clippers and ultimately recruiting Paul George and all that stuff with free agency with the Lakers and, you know, the Celtics and, you know, Brooklyn and Sixers and the Raptors and potential trades and all this type of stuff. But uh, I'm not going to talk about that because I already talked about that on my podcast, my other, my previous podcast, episode three. So check it out. It's available on YouTube. Again, new chapter, as I just mentioned earlier. And it's also available right here on Anchor FM, so check it out. All right? NBA free agency, I talk about it, give my insight, you know, say a few things. So that's what it's about. But um, what I'm going to talk about today is pretty much just the journey and how I started this. Um, I was asked an interesting question by somebody today who's kind of hesitant to go out and go after their dream because uh, of family validation and all sorts of stuff. And they told me an interesting story about just the fact that the lack of support that they've received from people that they thought were, you know, important to them, uh, people who they thought were essentially their, you know, their go-to and they found out that pretty much that that wasn't the case and very hurt, very disappointed, but yet still determined to go out and um, pursue their dreams. So I'm just going to let you all know about that, how I decided to do this. Uh, But I'm also going to send a few messages. I'm just speaking from experience, um, totally from my own personal experience, but hopefully my personal experience could shed some light for whoever's going through something or shed some light on, you know, what you feel you need to do. I'm not here to give you advice. I'm just giving you my opinion, but I'm also here to help those who I believe are just one encouraging word or statement or quote away from breaking through and getting out of that zone, that comfort zone that's been holding them back, whether it's just a comfort zone themselves, the mindset, or just people who have been an absolute hindrance in their lives. So, um, with this podcast, the Genesis podcast, I started it obviously recently. Um, I went through a lot of, uh, soul searching on how I should do this, uh, what I should say, what I should do. I had a lot of people for years saying that, uh, I have that voice for radio and I'm going to send a shout out to every single one of those people who believed in me when it came to this. So I'm here now I'm doing this, uh, I felt at one point in time, maybe this is something that I would do, but, you know, it kind of just was very, very uh, passive on this, and, you know, it was for a reason, because during that process, I really uh, learned a lot about myself, but I also went to some people with the idea, and most of the the people, most of the the people that I went to were very supportive, very uh, excited. And, uh, and of course, I had a few people who were like on me, like, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this. So I'm here now, as you guys know, from my first uh, raw take that I did for, you know, this podcast earlier on, which didn't have a name or a title to. So if you're interested in listening to that, it's on the page, it's on the YouTube page, again, the new chapter page. So check it out and, you know, have fun with that. 
but um, I I realize that uh, I have a passion for for speaking. I have a passion for for saying a lot of things and giving my insight on stuff, and even potentially trying to help those who may have went through something that I've went through, or just trying to break that ice, as I said previously, to do something like this. And um, you just gotta go for it. To be honest, like you gotta go for it. You have nothing to lose. At the end of the day, you're going to be criticized regardless. You could be as successful as, as anybody. You see it out there every day. Actors, athletes, um, news people, everybody that has a career that's on TV or just whatever it is. They're going to be criticized. We're all criticized by people. Some people criticize us because they feel like they should. Because they got nothing to do. Some people criticize us because... They want to be in our shoes and they're afraid to take it to the next level. And some people criticize us because they just listen to what everybody else says. You know, they're, they're just part of that crowd that just doesn't go anywhere. And um, just go after it. First of all, if you're really, really serious about it, one thing I would advise anybody that wants to start anything, whether it's a podcast, a career, a new career, or anything like that, Get a pen and a paper and write down what you want to do. Write down the things. Number one, write down the things that are holding you back. And then another section on that page, write the things that you want to do. And just look at that list. Keep that list for a while and look at that list very hard. And you start answering the whys and you get the answers from all those whys. If you really focus on this. So write down what's holding you back. Get a piece of paper. It could be a blank piece of paper. On the left side of the paper, write down what's holding you back. Everything that's holding you back. And on the right side, write down everything that you want to accomplish. That you know, if you put the time, the effort, the energy, you will accomplish. So, for anybody that wants to start, they're really nervous or just kind of looking around, hoping that nobody's going to notice them because they feel they're going to get a lot of criticism. Try that exercise and, and, and let me know how it goes out. Uh, uh, before I continue, um, I want to send a shout out uh, to everybody out there who um, who supported, uh, you know, what's been going on. And what I mean is uh, support the, the movement when it comes to accepting two things. Being you, number one, and number two, allowing yourself to get to the next level as an individual. Because uh, when I when I say this, it goes to bullying, and I want to send a shout out to a former player of mine who uh, who's now a you know who's now a counselor who's been really going out there and talking to other kids out there who've been bullied, and um, really showing them that. Uh, you can persevere. So shout out to him. You know who you are. You're going to be listening to this podcast. I spoke to you earlier today. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing it to the next level. So hashtag stop bullying. Let's just keep that uh, on the real, folks. Hashtag stop bullying. Whether you're on Twitter, Instagram, keep that going. Now back to what I was saying. Um, a goal is something that Everybody can accomplish whatever it is. And I feel that there's such this perception by society. Society has these crazy perceptions. These really, really crazy perceptions on how you're supposed to get up and how you're supposed to live your life, how you're supposed to accomplish things, and what's a timeline. There's no such thing. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own uh, ups and downs. Everybody has their own system. Everybody has ways. But at the end of the day, the ultimate goal is accomplishing. And for me, when I started this, I started recording off a recorder and just listening to it, uh, sending it out to a few people, you know, getting their opinions. Actually, just two people, um, two people in radio, actually. And they were really impressed. And they were like, why the hell are you wasting your time? Why haven't you started yet? So shout out to you two. Oh, my gosh. Damn, man, this is good. I'm like, damn, man. I, I, right now, I'm even. I, I got goosebumps because I remember that that day, and I remember doing the recording, and I remember sending it out. So, 
um, letting them check it out, you know, them giving my expertise, their, sorry, not my expertise, their expertise, sorry. Um, so you got to believe in yourself. I think that's the most ultimate thing. And, uh, you know, you, you got to really understand that going out there and doing something and really just, uh, you know, going after your goal, like, you know, not allowing yourself to be held back because of various things, you know, and um, I believe that a lot of people are held by their friends who are not going nowhere, their parents who are stuck in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, it's true, it's true, it's true, if you're a West Indian, and I'm from a West Indian background, you all know that our parents are stuck in, there's a lot of things that our parents are still stuck in from the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s that still they feel works, and we know it doesn't. But that's a whole different topic, so you got to go after what you want to do. And, um, you know, one of the things that a coach once told me is, the only way you're going to execute is with action. You cannot execute without action. So in order to execute, you got to have action. So go out there and just execute whatever. You know, so. Yeah. So. So I know there's a quote that I'm going to um, think. Um, and this is a quote that I've, that I, you know, read a lot while I was, you know, when I, I was doing a project called Demo Sessions Volume 1 with uh, my brother there, B. Nigma, And uh, that was historical because that taught me so much. The way we executed that project, the way we put it out. And, uh, you know, the quote is, why get bitter towards those who don't believe in your dreams when they don't believe in theirs? And I think that's huge. And it's by Edmund Mabika. Now, I want to make sure that I mention his name again. Edmund Mabika. I've always uh, said it that way. But if I say it wrong, forgive me. But I'm going to mention the quote one more time for all those that are, are paying attention. Why get bitter towards, towards those who don't believe in your dreams when they don't believe in theirs? Edmund Mabika. It's the truth. So... When you're surrounding yourself with narrow-minded people, people who don't want to go after their dreams, what do you expect? You're judged according to the company you keep. And if you're in that environment for too long, you become a part of that environment. So you have to remove yourself from that environment and excel. Sometimes being in that corner by yourself is the best thing because it really gives you a chance to visualize, reassess, reflect, and analyze the next step. It could be a small step. And sometimes small steps are bigger than, than big steps. So, And then, uh, of course, uh, with me, this podcast started. And now, I'm, as we speak, I'm recording episode four. And I'm going to be doing many, many more episodes. So you guys are going to hear this, obviously, on uh, Anchor FM, which is a sponsor of this podcast. Sponsored by Beat Fact Music. And you're also going to hear it at... Uh, if you know, as I said before, new chapter, that's right, new chapter live on YouTube. It's going to be on, not live, but it'll be on YouTube, so check it out. So um, <clears throat> that's my thing, man, just peeps out there, people out there, just believe in your, in your, in your abilities, believe in your skill set, believe in what, and you could always improve your, that's the best thing about life, you could improve, you can, you can improve your skill set. We are, we are such amazing creatures as humans because we are able to learn, adapt, conquer, and do great things, you know, instead of focusing on trying to destroy each other and trying to be social media, you know, stars and all this other crap, you know, we got so much talent out there, so believe in yourself and execute, make it happen. Now, um, there was a topic that was mentioned on a podcast before and um, somebody, uh, a family member was very adamant about it and they wanted me to talk about it. I'll talk about it quickly. Um, now, this best friend thing with your partner um, 
it's very simple. I'm going to make it very short and sweet. If you're with somebody in a relationship and you're going to marry them, you're going to walk down the aisle with them and they're not your best friend, why are you marrying them? To me, you should marry your best friend. If your best friend is your sisters or your 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 brothers or your your friends or from school or whatever, then you should marry them. Because them are these are the people you tell your business to. Last I checked, you share all your private stuff with your best friends. Most people do. Some people do. Right? So why get in a relationship or get married if that person is not your best friend? I heard somebody say to me earlier this week, um, I, I, I'm not looking for a best friend. I'm just looking for a husband. I turned around. I looked at that person. I said, you want to be divorced? They looked at me like, what are you talking about? It makes no sense. I said, it makes a lot of sense. Why would somebody be your husband knowing that they're not your best friend and all your business potentially could go to somebody else? So why are you married? Well, they might as well marry the person that is your best friend. So like I said on that best friend topic, it's very simple. If your husband or your girl, your wife is not going to be your best friend or one of your close best friends, and I mean number two on the list, or a distant or a close three, please don't get married. So that's my ramble for this podcast. Um, once again, thank you very much for listening. Anchor FM, which is the sponsor, also by Beat Fact Music. And this podcast will be live on YouTube. So check it out. And also, on this particular podcast, I will have the link for Demo Sessions Volume 1, which is a project I did in 20, <clears throat> 2017 with my boy B. Nigma. So if you are out there, you want to listen to some good music, you're interested in some good music, you want to hear something that's classic, you want to hear something that's got a vibe to it, that's got all that power and energy to it, you got to check out Demo Sessions Volume 1. So that link is going to be available. It's going to be live. It's going to be as real as, I can, as it could get. So it's going to be on. Um, man, I could talk about that project over and over again, the work that we put in and all that good stuff. But... Uh, I just want people to know that, uh, you know, that project is something that uh, we really put a lot of effort into. So, you know, again, it goes back to following your dreams and, and, and it's, it's really evident to, uh, when you do something like that, the support that you receive and the people that want to support you. So, like I said, Demo Sessions Volume 1, the link will be available on um, <clears throat> on this latest podcast. Also, the audio Mac will be available if you just want to listen. The free download will be available also, so check it out. So, as I said, for this podcast, folks, thank you very much. Any questions, concerns, leave your comments. And it's a wrap. And once again, the Genesis Podcast coming to you live from the 6th.